Chinese Guo Jia Dui, or literally translated, the country team, is a team that have been flying up on the Chinese Bilibili SOF form. So what exactly is this team? Let's take a look. Hey, welcome back. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the Chinese country team, which is a very popular team that's been running around for the past two weeks or month even on the Chinese community in Genshin Impact. The core member is Xiangling, Xingxiu, uh, Bennett, and Chongyun as you can see on the right side of the screen. And the reason why I want to cover this now is because in 1.3 Genshin Impact, we're going to get two new Liu specific weapon. And as you can see on the screen, these weapons give you additional stats depending on how many Liu characters you put in your team. And for this team, you can see this is free member, Zhang Ling, Jing Xiu, and Chongyun. You could even replace Bennett for Beidou, uh, replace Bennett for another Liu character to get the max bonus, maybe the new buff Zhongli. Now, the primary way this team functions is to use Chongyun and Xing Xiu to provide reaction aura for your Changling Power Tornado, which will allow you to either melt or vaporize the Power Tornado damage. To quickly demonstrate, it pretty much just looks something like this, where you can see that the target is constantly being frozen and then melted and then frozen and then melted. Now, when the Chongyun field run out, you will still have the Xing Xiu Water Sword to do vaporize reaction instead. Well, that's pretty much it. So what's so special about this team then? If you pay closer attention, you can actually see that this team consists of no 5 star character at all. Yes, this entire idea started with building a team without using any 5 star character. Now unfortunately, you do need constellation. Uh, the constellation that you must have is going to be the C4 on the Xiangling, which is increasing your duration on the Paranado. But this actually might be achievable for a lot of people because Xiangling has been on multiple banner as well as we got a free copy of it. Now, some of you might have noticed that this quickly reassembled the Deluxe Scene Shield team. And yes, that is what this team is built based off. Uh, if I replace this Xiangling with Deluxe and then I just take out this Chongyun for any character, you can see that this is the most standard Deluxe Scene Shield team. And it operates under the same principle, and that is to vaporize or melt in Changling case because you can use Chongyun uh, every single one of your attack on your primary pyro DPS. But what's interesting to note is that people are starting to switch from the Deluxe Xing Xiu team over to the Xiangling team. And why is that? Well, this is because the Luke constellations are very, very hard to get, considering the fact that the Luke has not been on any uh, rate up banner so far. As you can see that my constellations uh, on Deluc is zero. But this is not true for Xiangli, where Xiangli has been on multiple banner and we got a free copy as we mentioned before. And while Xiangli constellations are really good, we have C1 which decreases enemy pyro resistance by 15%. Uh, and then the two free level talent, uh, which is pretty much just getting free damage. And then we have the C6, which is 15% power bonus damage for yourself or your entire team. But since you're the main DPS, then it's pretty much mean for yourself. Another thing is people very often underestimate the damage on the Pyro Tornado as well. Here you can see that a level 8 talent my Shaolin Pyro Tornado do 180%. Uh, where in comparison, my Deluke Searing Onslaught is also a level 8, but it does 150, 156, and 206, which average out to be like 170%. So it's a bit lower than Shang Li. But the key point here is that because it is easy to get constellation on Shang Li, you get free free level on your Power Tornado, which means that you can actually out damage the Luke Searing Onslaught. Now, there are a couple other comparison upside and downside. Most notably is that uh, Shaolin Power Tornado is not up all the time and have a huge, huge, huge energy cost, a 80 energy cost. At... Nevertheless, the previous example is just there to help you kind of estimate or understand how much damage the Power Tornado can actually do. And to illustrate that, I did some quick calculation and here is a graph of the Luke vs Shaolin damage over 20 seconds uh, because the elemental burst cooldown on Shaolin is 20 seconds. 
But I do want to quickly call out that the X here actually represent the artifact quality, not the time in the time series. Uh, because just it's, all, it's a lot of effort to plot the entire time graph. Anyhow, you can see that Shaolin actually outdamaged the Luke by approximately 15%, even when you're running the Fornonius Lens, which is of course the energy recharge option. Now, I don't want to make a claim that oh, Shaolin is a better the Luke now. There's a lot of variables that go into calculation like these. For example, Chong Yun is factored in as a cryo aura in the Shaolin team, so this let her get 2x melts as opposed to 1.5 vaporize. But this means that you need another party slot where you don't have to use that in your Deluxe team composition. But overall, this is just to demonstrate that their damage can indeed be equivalent, and very very often people underestimate how much damage a Shaolin can do. The final secret of why this team is good is just simply because, well, all of these team members, while they are 4 star, they are all really amazing 4 star character. Xiangling have amazing damage with her Pyro Tornado as we have seen. Uh, Xing Qiu top tier 4 star character with both uh, Hydro damage and Hydro infusion. Bennett number 1 4 star character, nothing to say here. And we have Chong Yun which is really good at breaking shield with his Grey Sword. Uh, as well as the CDR on the Cryo Field and providing Cryo Infusion. So these are all amazing top tier 4 star character and we put them together. Of course we get a really really amazing team. Wait, if you put all the good 4 star character into one team, then how are you supposed to build your other team? Well, depending on roster, you can still build a lot of team option. And in fact, let me demonstrate. Here you can see that I have the country team set up in here. So what can I possibly build for team 2? Well, I could build double anemo, uh, right here, Fenty Jean. Maybe I could put Xiao in it when he come out. I could put Ganyu Freeze team with uh, Ganyu Mona, Ganyu Barba. Uh, I could be running a double Geo team, uh, Noel Zhongli, Lingguang Zhongli, Geo MC Zhongli, or Albedo. I could run something like Firework Chayo, uh, which is this, uh, Fischl and then Beido. As you can see, you still have a lot of team option for your second team. Now, something to do note is that all of these teams I named pretty much involve at least a single 5 star character. And if you think about it like that, it actually makes sense to put the good 4 star character in a team. Because now for your other team, you have the amazing 5 star character to make up for the difference. Now, I talked a lot about why this team is good, so let me quickly teach you how to build it as well. Uh, for Shangling, the Felonious Lens is a must-have. Uh, unless you have really really good energy regeneration substat, you want to aim for 180 to 200 energy regeneration, uh, since the Power Tornado does have a really really high energy cost. Uh, but if you do have high energy regeneration, you could take another lens, maybe Dragon Bane. Uh, maybe even the new Liu lens, which is definitely gonna give you so much damage. Uh, for your artifact, just run the standard Crimson Witch of Flame, uh, crit damage, got crit rate, helmet, uh, pyro, whatever this piece is called, goblet, and energy recharge our glass actually, and then like yours, two feathers and flowers. Moving on to seeing you very standard, a uh, sacrificial sword or a energy recharge sword. And then Senator Artifact, which is the two uh, Heart of Death set and then two Noble set, with the following uh, main stat uh, on the screen. Now, if you don't have good level artifact for Xing Qiu, then Instructor is actually crazily good because when you trigger a reaction, you give 120 Elemental Mastery to your party. More noticeably, your Shangling will be able to use the Elemental Mastery to increase her melt damage. And you trigger reactions so often because as remember from the beginning of the video, you can freeze the enemy under the Xing Chiu Chong Yun uh, synergization. And then for Chong Yun, any good attack percent sort or Claymore will do, such as the prototype. Now when the new uh, Li Yu Claymore come out, you definitely want that on him. I think Chong Yun is definitely the happiest person to receive the new Claymore because he himself is also from Li Yu. Uh, for your artifact, you can run 2 Blizzard and 2 Noblest for really good damage. And then moving on, Bandit is just very very standard. Uh, Phonius, Grace, or sorry, Phonius Sword, which is your standard energy regeneration sword. This also helps to battery your Xiangling as well, because you can generate particle for Xiangling uh, when you proc the passive. 
And then for your artifact, just four noblest overall buffing more attack. So I think that's pretty much covered everything. It is going to be interesting to see how this team go when the new Abyss rotate as well as when new 1.3 come out because then we'll get the new buff Zhongli and then we can also get the new Liu weapon. So you know it might take this team even better. Anyway well that's pretty much it for this video and I'll see you guys all next time.